I know you're fucking with me about something, so I'm gonna say no. The only, no, it's, it's like a big rumor. I just read it on. Uh, oh, he's got a camera behind. Here we go. I read on NBC Sports. It said that that Biz is thinking about ditching you and going full time with Wayne Gretzky. And all right. Do you know how much easier my life would be if Biz decided to ditch <laughs> me? That's all he wants. Yeah. The day Biz decides to ditch me for TNT and another big dog. I will be one of the happier persons going because he keeps me stressed. He keeps me, uh, I guess, focused, but I'd love to just go play golf. So don't even think that would rattle me. You, you tried. You it brought the like cameraman over. It didn't do shit. Like didn't Ask Mikey. We've already talked about it. Hopefully Biz gasses me the next month now. You, you think he did? Actually, you should How start, do you think Biz did? Where, you should start Biz crushed it. Rest. You should start wearing sweatpants. Sweat During the podcast, just I yeah, think that like crushed it. This is this is more. You didn't like, think he crushed it? Oh, I think he crushed it, but I agree. Yeah. He's a more professional yeah. guy now. He needs a more professional player. environment. Yeah. It would be nice if you got dressed up occasionally. I think that Biz actually would much rather dress in a sweatino or a Canadian tuxedo and actually be able to not wear a suit, but he has to. And Gretzky to the right of him is just perfect. Biz had a video last night. He's on Instagram. And he's like, I'm sitting here with this plug to my right. It's Wayne Gretzky. I'm like, what world are we living in? Yeah, the funny part is like, Biz is back there thinking like, just remembering a time that a girl like ate his butthole, and Wayne Gretzky's next to him. <laughs> hey Wayne, you ever you ever had a chick just lick your hoop? <laughs> are we live? <laughs> I mean, the only thing Ohio State can do that's whatever like they this. want. Throw that's the like ball. this. We we got face painted for Tommy Walker's birthday yesterday. We're just getting it left and right. What if it just landed on like the whole <laughs> Catch it, Nick. Who would you take? I took Oklahoma. I was on Texas all week and I flipped. These two would love taking love Oklahoma. Oklahoma. That's loving Oklahoma, and then when they that's play, be like, I don't like Oklahoma. Yeah, like, I, no, I, no, I, no, no, that's, that's I, I, I've done that once. I never said Oklahoma's oh, good. That. They're just my national championship pick, and I pick I them in every year. I had two national title picks. One was Georgia. I will yeah, say, though, I don't, yeah. I don't necessarily think that they're completely out of this game. Uh, SMU Navy 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh. Where's Auburn? 3-3. Three, three. Mm. Late first quarter. Mm. Oh, she had a little giddy up in her head. It was, and she what? knows that we have a shitload of... Well, I, I do. Well, you had a little giddy you up. You know exactly what you, you had a little my, giddy up. Oklahoma by seven! <laughs> my, my That's exactly how yeah, I know, I know. And Evan and I were, Evan and I were like, you, you called the game dead, too. You're like, well, my lock is dead. You're like, no, it's no, no, not. No, I said that three one. No, you said it was dead. I, no, you said Oklahoma, said, was you said Oklahoma was dead. You said Oklahoma was dead. You said Oklahoma was dead. And I said, you know what's dead? Ole Miss, because that game's final. I mean, the and then you went, Oklahoma are... by seven. Yeah. <laughs> he basically rode the schooner. They got me. Fuck him. He ran our face. They got his face. just ran over us. It's two fucking big fat speed bumps that she ran over. Super cool state. Oh, it is a cool state. I mean, we're right by the cool That is. You I lost two of the most tragic. Yes, Dave. Yes. And I knew, I told you that was going to happen. I said that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. I know that shit. Let's go. Maybe. Should put all the money on the weekend. My two games. How come I'm going to say? What? what are we doing? <laughs> Nothing. Just stuck Getting a shot of, of your boots. You know when a magician takes a point out of it? Like, I was like, oh. Where are these boots? They're, they're boots. It's supposed to rain, right? It's supposed to rain today. It's not, what did you expect it to be? A flood? Did you expect it to be seven feet of I just rain? don't want to have wet socks. Wet foot. You could just not step in puddles. <laughs>
I picked Notre Dame during the week and then I switched it because I realized that there's no way Heat scene. How'd it go? It, it went well. It was intense, but we got it done. This episode of Stool Scenes is brought to you by High Noon, the perfect drink for a college football tailgate or watch party or just sitting on your couch with a fridge full of ice cold high noons. Uh, 100 calories, the best flavors, the first thing that goes at parties. Get to your local liquor store, pick up a case, pick up two cases if you have friends, pick up five cases if you have Pat's friends. High noon, the best around. Back to stool scenes. Chuck. What's up? Uh, would you like to release a statement? I'm reg I'm, you know, you're the resident White Sox fan here. We don't have White Sox Dave here. Um, I think he has every right to do what he did last night. John Cusack is a fucking pink hat. I know you did, but you can't tell me where I can like wherever I want. He was the first baseman in 1983. Uh, was you know? Ron Kittle? No, Mike Squires. Mike Squires. That means okay. you're off. But I'm, I'm younger than that. That's, that, that, that proves your ignorance. That's not, that's not ignorance. Yeah, you, that's, you, you know who Lamar Oden was? Lamar Oden? Yeah, of course I know. You know who Oscar Gamble was? Yes. I know all of them. I know all those guys too. I think you can prove your ignorance. But I mean, you, you can't, I, 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 it's, it's all I about. Movie. I made a movie about that. Half the, half the fun about being a fan is being miserable. You can't just go to the Cubs side. When I, I, can, I went to the ballparks growing up, but that doesn't count. You can't do that. That's like against the rules. That's the best part of having in Chicago is that you got two teams to root for. We'll have, we'll have to agree to disagree. Agree to disagree, I guess. But I think it's uh, uh. you have to live. Stinks. Stinks. Cusack. He's banned. He's number one on my ban list. John Cusack is banned. Um, there's multiple pictures of him wearing Cubs gear at the World Series a couple years back. And then he thinks he can be a White Sox fan because he played a White Sox player in Eight Men Out, which is ridiculous. Um, also, I think getting into a name off about the 1983 White Sox is like does not mean you're a White Sox fan. It just means you're, you're old as shit and you just remember who the first baseman was from the White Sox. Dave, I know if he wanted to sit down with John Cusack and name every player like in the organization at this point or in the organization when we were dog shit the past five years. So fuck John Cusack. That's all I have to say. I mean... I think the momentum's in our favor. That was the spark we needed, the little White Sox Dave spark. And uh, John Cusack, it's just got us fired up. Uh, you get one today, we go to a game five, anything can happen. Get us to the LCS. That's what we need to see. I mean, the world needs a White Sox, Red Sox, ALCS. That would be awesome. It would you know? be great. Hopefully we get that. All right. White Sox Nation, baby. You have no, you have no take on White Sox Dave? I mean... Your team's dead. Do you even care about baseball anymore? Yeah, I do. I think it's a great video. Um, I, th I think it's very funny that John Cusack thinks White Sox Dave is only 24. He's like, you young whippersnapper. He said that? <laughs> he's tweeting. He, well, he didn't say whippersnapper, but he's like, you're only 24. Like, I remember when I was in my 20s. So that's kind of a win for White Sox Dave that John Cusack thinks he's only 24. Um, but it's it's great. I mean, that it's a great video. What a night for White Sox Dave. Look, I know people are like, oh, he stumped him with White Sox trivia, but... Whatever, he doesn't have the 1983 first baseman at the top of his, like John Fuser just walks around with that in his back pocket, like ready to stump people, like who was the third? Like if you ask John Cusack who was the, the shortstop in 1988, there's a chance he wouldn't have known that. Like he knows one specific position exactly. and year, and like he uses that, which is sort of a great move, but I feel like if White Sox, they went at him with more recent trivia, he probably could have could have even the playing field, but whatever. You, you see a guy that you've talked shit on for years in public, and you got you got to go up to him. So I think I think it was a win for White Sox Dave. Yeah, he pulled up. Yeah, he pulled up. He says, "Skirt, skirt, come pull up." <laughs>
It's one of the greatest. I, 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 I thought it in the moment, but I was like, nah, I'm just being like recency bias, prisoner of the moment here. But I was like, this is like a top five Barcelona moment. It Dave really knows is. to know yeah. it's with John Cusack. It's <laughs> also so perfect. I mean, White Sox is right. You can't well, that's what we were talking about. 100%. That's what I love about that. He's right, but he lost. Oh, so yeah. No, and he, he not only really really lost, but he <laughs> tweeted was like, I just handed him like his ass. And I think he actually screwed it up. Like, and then you see the video and you're like, no, he kind of got potty. Yeah. But then he won it late night because John Cusack went off the rails. Yeah. Crazy. And like was clearly but, but, bothered. But calling him a belligerent, a belligerent foul, foul boy. Foul, foul, foul boy. Foul <laughs> boy. Also, he called him like a belligerent greasy asshole. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> a belligerent <laughs> greasy asshole. He's just <laughs> like Ari Tech coming in, being like, baseball's a game of love. Yeah, Don't bring so this darkness. Going on. Yeah. The whole darkness. thing is just so White Sox day, oh, start to finish. Yeah. Like, it's, you know what? It's a little yes. bit dirty to be like, who was the 1983 fucking third baseman? Yeah. Just because you don't know that doesn't mean you're not a fucking you fan asked me of the White like Sox. Who the right wing of the Islanders was in 1987. I'm not getting that. But and then on the, on the spot, even you could ask me like right. a recent year. I'd be like, right. wait, I'm not ready to do trivia. We're supposed no. to, you know, <laughs> nose to nose, ready to fight. Dude. We're talking about colors and uniforms. Like you're like you're not supposed to. You're not allowed to wear um, a White Sox jersey. It's yeah. Like, right. On the flip side, though, White Sox even like coming up and accosting him. It's like Absolutely. you're allowed to say that back. Absolutely. He actually handled yeah. it well. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's like can't root for both teams, but like the the way he handled it in the moment was like I John give him credit. Cusack was like that dude for a minute. Like, I felt yeah. like, like that would be favorite. like yeah. him, like just a random fucking weasel like Dave running up on a superstar like that <laughs> is ridiculous. It's crazy. Dude, I've never seen someone look down on someone like Probably. that. He plays for his White Sox Dave, like because this is pure White Sox Dave. He thinks he won it. Yeah. And then also, he only cares about the White Sox, so it doesn't really... I texted him this yeah. morning, he's like, that was an unbelievable comeback. I'm like, yeah. but, <laughs> like that's, that's why he's the best. He, like, he, he cares about this series. He doesn't care about trending on Twitter. Right. He's like, we gotta win a fucking baseball game today. Do you think you would do it? Would you roll up on Lundquist? Or would I you just be like... like, like, like he's like, he's still but, going on about this, too! <laughs> I, mean, I feel like I'd have to. Lundquist. He's like, too, just like... Hot. Rooting for the White Sox. It's also kind of funny when he's like, I wore the uniform. It's like, for a movie, dude. <laughs> right. Like a bunch of other guys wore the uniform too. They're not. Right. His biggest mistake is that he keeps tweeting about it. He could have easily... Yeah, he should have let, yeah, let it be. Exactly. The yeah. fact that John Cusack is carrying this on yeah. makes him look like a loser. Exactly. I wanted you to give me a little house tour. Uh, yeah. Little house tour, but what are we doing with Polly Peppers? Oh my god. Should I put him outside? <laughs> I don't know, you tell me about the dog. <laughs> Polly Peppers is it's a fucking rascal. Yeah. Hey, you upstairs? Yeah. Can you put Paul in the backyard? Uh, put Paul in the backyard? Yeah, I, I, would, I just finished up training. I just got back home now with the two of my buddies from Barstool. I'm just going to come in, take a quick shower, and we're leaving. Uh, all right, so, so you want me to put just Paul outside? Yeah, just Paul. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to take no chances, bro. <laughs> no! <laughs> Putting Paul outside. It's so we good. got Montana, Chunk, Chunk, White Boy Rick. And White Boy Rick. Yeah. Oh, White Boy Rick's still here. Biggest uh, lifesaver, those, those glass screen things. Yep, see? Where did it go? <laughs> which, one, which one's that? That's White Boy Rick and Chunk. <laughs> Hopefully they don't get me. Let's roll back there. You can't. Oh, he's a tank! <laughs> Look at him, he's ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey. That's unbelievable. I love that. That's where everything went down. I turned it into the baby's room. This is where it happened? Yeah, right here. The couch was here. Oh no. And then the water bottle was right here that I smacked. <laughs> and then... And this is where you were yelling upstairs? Well, upstairs, yeah. So you're gonna kill yourself. You're gonna hang yourself in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, in the bathroom. We'll go look at the bathroom. Wow. This is a legendary room.
gonna find me dead! I'm gonna kill myself! I'm gonna be hanging from the bathroom! Don't ask me to do nothing! This is nothing! I'm gonna kill myself! He's fully loaded on me. Jesus. Time. Fully loaded. Everything. Diapers for days, bro. <laughs> Slab, look at the look at the dogs and the steelers. <laughs> it's fully, bro. Fully. <laughs> you know, this is where Jersey Jerry ran. You know, I was a menace to society. For I'd say from 17 to 21. You know, just doing the wrong thing, mixed up with the wrong crowd. Um, you know, we turned my life around though, but you know, a lot of nights on the street, walking up and down, you know, trying to get that next fix. It was right here, Newark, New Jersey, Stephen Crane Village. Let's take a walk, Nick. Uh, here, here, you feel me? My name is Trey, and I went. Uh, <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing, guys. I'm just playing. Yeah, all right. Hey, what's going on, man? How you been? How you been, goddammit? I ain't seen you in a minute. <laughs> so now, I ain't doing that camera shit at all. Was I lying? No. That's where I grew up, bro. That's where I live, bro. That's right here. Many nights right there. In the corner? In the corner, right here. The liquor store was right here. It's crazy, dude. This is where, this is where my mom found me. Right here, sleeping. You know, she picked me up, crying. She said, Jared, that's it, you gotta get out of here. I said, I give up, I'm done, I'm done running. She picked me up, brought me to the airport. I went to Scottsdale, Arizona. It's been history ever since. Not a, not a drink or a drug. In the last six years, turned my life around. You know, that was proof right there. I really was out here, I really was living here. Welcome to the jungle. Jared, give me a hug. I love you. I'm glad you fucking good for you. So now you wow. got now you got a taste. Oh yeah, no. It's, 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 yeah, this is this yeah. is for tonight's game. Okay. Is that okay with you? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so we can get that out there in the next couple hours. Definitely, or yeah. You shaved the arms too, huh? Yeah, she's got tattoos. <laughs> she got Cameron Bray to score a touchdown. Twelve letters, number eighty-four. Eight plus four equals twelve. Eighty-four yards receiving. Looking at hmm? what's the 10 12 34 was when I looked I was looking for a sign and look again where's the 10 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 10 I understand that but why is there a 10 it's just a sign <laughs> <laughs> Can you just uh, tap tap the mic <laughs> <laughs> you did do this. I did, yeah, yeah, my bad. Welcome to the signs with Jersey Jerry. The universe, it gives you signs, signs that you have to pick up on. The universe, it gives you winners. I seen a sign today, 1234, signed into the Barstool Sportsbook. 1234, one plus two plus three plus four equals 10. There's a guy on the Bucks who was born July 3rd. July, the seventh month, plus the third day equals 10. The signs are starting to align now. There's a guy on the bucks, number 84. 84, eight plus four equals 12, 12. Now that sign's coming to me. Cameron Brait, letter by letter, if you count, Cameron Brait, it equals 12. The signs say Cameron Brait to score a touchdown today. Book it. The signs. Just don't know what the 10 has to do with it, but I love it. <laughs> 10? Why do you keep plus? saying, but what does the 10 have to do? I love it. I'm in. But what's One the 10? Plus? I was looking at the clock. <laughs> the clock's 12. 1234. Yeah. 1 plus 2 plus oh, 3. 3 plus 4. Equals 10. Holy 10. shit. 
July 3rd, 7 plus 3 equals 10. Don't question my size. This is my show now. I'm not questioning This is my first show now. I love it. I just want to see. I gotta, I gotta hear you out. I gotta see what I'm betting. Now, how long was that you'd say? Sounds oh, good. yes. And then, uh, whatever so you want to put, like, whatever, your picture. Yeah, I'll so make it. I'll make it. You do your thing. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what are we going to do here today? We're going to organize Big Cat's hideous stack of merch. <laughs> when I looked at it, I just went, what is that pile of disorganization over there? Like, can I just fold it? Surely there's something in there that needs to be organized. I brought three containers. Not very many for that big pile, yeah. but I thought I could at least start with three containers. And I got a label maker, t-shirts, sweatshirts, whatever right. else is in there. Let's get to it. Okay. Oh. Yeah. And he asked us to change titles and all that. Hello. All right. The fuck do you think you're doing? <gasps> just gonna Excuse do a me? little organizing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's a shit show. I know. No, it's when I got up close, it was worse. It's very bad. Does it bother you? Yeah, it's a little, it's a little, I know. I'm afraid there's a spider in there. I think there were some mice living in it no. last time, last time, but not anymore. Do you have an OU shirt in there? No, definitely no? not. Nope. No one has sent you anything from OU nope. or OSU? No, nope. no. Nope. I'm sure you have Patriots stuff. No, nope. well Hank, so Hank and my piles, so if you go, so which is your pile? So Hank's is part, so there, if, you, if you're looking for Patriot stuff, it starts right around there. Do you ever get stuff for your kids? Yes. Do you take it home? I sometimes forget and then they outgrow it. <laughs> no, that's happened like multiple times. So people have long. given me gifts and then I've just completely screwed up the timing on that. You can fold, but I would be careful in there. The thing might collapse on you. <laughs> okay, so we should have started later. Where that wouldn't have happened, right? Yeah. So we're gonna do an easy fold. <laughs> I didn't ask about the bulls. I don't know much about any basketball stuff going on here. Mm. They don't have a basketball person, do they? We used to. This? All day, probably. All day. Yeah, and, and I do think there might be mice in there, but the stuff that he wears is pretty yeah. weird. I guess people don't send him underwear. But some of this stuff is really old. Kind of ick. But he's got awesome jackets in here. Not this one, but I would love to have the... His favorite team is not awesome? Oh, that's his favorite team? Oh, that then it's awesome. On a scale of one to 10? Yeah. I would say it's a 10. Oh, I don't know what mafia means. I mean, I know what mafia means, but I don't mean know what it means with barstool. Never ended for you, Kim. Never ended. I tried this shit before. And he you did. did? Yeah, did and you it. Get in yeah, he yelled at me a spider for touching his corner. He yelled. He yelled at me a spider for touching his corner. Uh -oh. But fuck big cat. He's dirty. <laughs> Clean the fuck up. You're dad now. Yeah. Your dad now. Stop being dick before you. Gotta clean your fucking sides. And there was that like picture of the two of them. What about this black sweatshirt right here? This one? Uh, yeah. Oh gosh. Nice. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing there, Kim? We're gonna scare Alex with it. <laughs> Hopefully her big to the shoes won't just kick it out of the way. Hopefully the cleaners don't find it. Do people come in here and clean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Brooks, but that was, he shouldn't have done that. What do you think? We got Did people running him? around just I have not it. messaged him. He messaged me when he got hurt. He's like, don't, I'm so sorry. We'll figure it out. I'll get right back to you. 
next thing you know, there's a public announcement with these new best friends who fucking yeah, now no, suddenly totally. they like each other. I mean, we should get a, we should get a, we should get I'm the a new, cut. I'm the new grudge match now. Yeah, I like that. Except that I can't golf. You think That's I want it to be? I'm running around the Hamptons. Hey, you play golf all Your summer. hands like, are fuck? all. Yeah. You think I want to do that? No, I exactly. He played more than. It sounds terrible. He played at least two rounds. I trust me. How I, many? <laughs> yeah, but Dave doesn't like golf, so. No. Not How many playing. rounds did you play? Like, two almost games. four? I, you I played two. nine and then four. Holes. <laughs> <laughs> two rounds, this guy is, is out there blood, sweat, meetings, and tears. <laughs> making ads. He did four holes. That is blood, sweat, and tears. Okay, okay ready to roll! Everybody's in on my late. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ready to roll, ready to roll, ready to roll. I don't know the significance of this yet, but I went to a store called Ooz and Oz. Chewbacca, who's my favorite Star Wars character, Captain Kirk, who's going to the moon. And I predicted John Gruden would fail, and he fucked up my doll. I paid a hundred for him. He's now worth seventy. What John up, Gruden, up, fuck up. you and die. Well, to me, she was like, Jerry, I'm working on the contract for your fight, and I was like, Can we throw in ten frozen pizzas? And she's never been more confused. It's like everything Jerry wants, he just wants free pizzas. We need to get him his two pizzas. Dave is just not. No, we are. We're gonna get him. I'm, I'm dealing with yeah, like his family issues. is they going. They, How's he got a baby that I, wants I, I pizza? Have, I, uh, 940 SAGs. <laughs> I'm not intelligent. You're not very smart. No, no. You say you're not very smart. I'm lower really than you're smart. Like you're smart. smart. I'm like a dumb. Dumb, dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Dummy! Dumb, dumb, dumb. I knocked over my coffee. I made a mess in this place. I'm sorry. So you hit me so hard in the foot with the little chucky guy. Did I swear to God? I have a bruise now. It's brown. Do you want me to kiss it? No, that'd be the last thing I want. Thank you. <laughs> Showtime, uh, KB not here yet. Uh, I don't think he's gonna come. Welcome, welcome to uh, to a little. What, what can we call this right now? It's gonna ruin my life. I can't believe your brother just nutted on his Running with the squad like the class mob banks. I pull up the celebs like it's that Tom Hanks. Jules. Memes. 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 Kurt. Nobody. You're not Frankie. Hey guys. Hey, what the holy shit? What's up, buddy? I'm Paul. What's going on, man? Great to meet you. Yeah, I know who you are. Oh, there he is. He must be Paul. There he is. There he is. Oh, there's a guy. What do we got? Oh, hey, buddy. What's up? What's up? How's it going? Big city boy. There's something going on in this city right now. It's fucking. Yeah, no, I, I played college. I played D3 college. I'm just, we're, we're here converting one Jets fan at a time. We got Fireman Ed. We got Fireman Ed. P A T S, Pats, Pats, Pats. You, didn't, you know that's why he doesn't go to the games. Because he became a Pats fan? Yeah. We, literally, we got him at Patriot Stadium every weekend. For like the last eight games, including, or not before, before the lockout, because they fired him. Remember, they wouldn't give him. Tickets, so we went and got them. Oh yeah, I remember. Learn something new every day. I mean, big fan of your work and the Patriots' work, but as a Jets fan, it's been tough. It's been tough. My guy remembers it. I made that up completely. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, I remember that. 
He's just trying to. I get it. 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 Why are you nervous? Because, dude, I was listening the other day when you said that uh, that Belichick and Brady both wanted to win the game. That was like, I don't know where I'd find that type of analysis. <laughs> You're like, both these guys want to win this game. They did? And I was like, what? It's pretty <laughs> smart, actually. Fucking asshole. He doesn't know what it's like to be in there. Awesome. He doesn't it's know what the sweaty you're, high fives you're are like. You're a natural, but you're the best looking guy ever. No, no, no. Well, that's what Bush said. He said that, Jules, he said that you moved, Marty Bush said that you moved to New York because you just ran through every girl in Boston. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Absolutely, uh, this is a good Yeah, this is a good Change your subject. Change your, you're a fucking arsehole. <laughs> no, dude, I'm oh, I've got something else. I love that shit.